Okay, let's look at another uh, physique pictography vintage. This is from 1950, and look at the condition it's in. So this is over, what, um, 70, almost 75 years old. Um, it looks like it was probably self-published. It's uh, quite rare. You cannot buy this just anywhere. I can't, there's nowhere online. I can find other copies of this. And this is by Hal Stevens. It's physique photography for beginners and professionals. Um, kind of board covers. And it's published by Iron Man publication. So it's probably something you sent away for and got through a magazine. Um, so this is Iron Man Publishing Co. This here, it says John Grimmick by Lon. So uh, Lon of New York. This is said to be one of the finest physique photos of all time. That's what that says. So they put it right there. I'm sure these were probably published in Iron Man, um, Iron Man uh, magazine. So the contents, selection of a camera, films, home studio equipment, determining proper exposure of the model, lighting technique, outdoor physique, photo flash, processing filmmaking prints, physique photography and color, and there is a female figure in the conclusion. So there's writing in here, introduction. So there's actually quite a bit of text selecting the camera but the interesting thing about these is the pictures that are in here the text you can actually feel it it's actually pushed into the to the paper which is uh, semi-gloss well it's glossy i mean there's clay in the paper um one of the finest physique poses ever taken is this pose of the author taken by himself so here's the author damn so that is um al stevens so he was also a photographer. He decided to take a picture of himself. Props, background, determining proper exposure. So this is like a how-to, I mean, cameras. So this is uh, Clarence Ross, Mr. USA, Mr. America, 1945. Displays flawless physique. Here's the chapter on the model. Henry Aarons by Al Urban. So I love how they're having these other, and these photographs from random other artists. Here is another Al Urban. Here's a young kid, three and a half years. Um, here's, uh, of course, the lovely uh, Tony Sansone. Um, Sansone's slender yet muscular proportions. Uh, the development of external obliques apparently an overhead light illuminates the entire body particularly the chest here is um, Eugene Sandow right here uh, Jacob Pete Jacobs of Detroit by uh, Douglas of Detroit here very glossy um, this is Photo by the author, opposed uh, Vern Bickle by the author. And he's actually has a little diagram there showing you the setup. And here, look at that. that is actually really good. I've never seen that before where he actually charted stuff out. This is called High Key. Vern Bickle by the author. Vern Bickle by the author. So Vern Bickle was really good about letting the, um, the author uh, photograph him. So he's actually in the field taking pictures. Here's again Vern Bickle. Bud Mucci. Co-owner of the California Health Studio of San Francisco. Here's outdoor physique photography. So here's some lovely ones. This is Bill Hooper by Douglas of Detroit. Here's Steve Reeves. This picture itself you know, really makes the this uh, pretty cool um, little book. Here's the staples, good condition, they're not rusting, which is great. Someone's taking care of this, and when I am done with this, I'm going to put it back in the in the um, glassine with the board back, um, acid-free board back um, thing, and close it up to preserve it. This is in 1947, uh, Steve Reeves. 
Notice the particularly the left calf. Oil in the skin throws off effective highlights. This is uh, Jimmy Payne, owner of Marks and Payne Physical Culture Studio in Oakland, California. George Eiferman here. Alan, it says Steepy Han. I think it's Stefan, S T E P H A N, but it's misspelled S T P E H A N. Could be wrong. This is uh, Bud Mucci again, San Francisco. It's normally well endowed. Uh, Latimus Muscles by Jimmy Payne. This is fo a flash photo photography. Bradley Temple in Missouri. Single flash bulb. It's really, I mean, yeah, the black is not very good. Flash bulb. Tech. Flash bulb tech in, in the 50s was crap, and you can see it. There's no delay. It was all basically just, you know, one overexposed. You really didn't have too much control over the flash. You had maybe a few settings at most. Um, here's the author. The author is quite, quite good looking. This is uh, Frank Schofro of St. Louis, the national championships, single flash bulb, pose of the author. Wow, he's just lifting that with one arm, twisting. This is called Processing Films and Making Prints, especially when you've taken those where there is no posing strap, probably. Uh, study of Floyd Page, Professional uh, Mr. America of 48, by Russ Warner. This one is uh, the author. So he's the author took his clothes off. You see bare butt. Ace Greer. Developing your film. I do develop black and white every now and then. I, if I haven't run out of chemicals, so yeah, D7, Kodak D76 and Kodak Microdol, fine green developer. Hypo can also be purchased and prepared. Acid fixing powder. Hardener is included. This is Ace Gear again with. Uh, and the, it says the photo has been cropped. Making prints. This is Ace Greer again. Here he is again, showing the background. Oh, the background was blocked out of the photo so that the attention can be focused on the physique. The text tells how this is done. Physique photography in color. Talks about makeup, light source, black and white pictures from color, transparency, hmm. outdoor studies in color. And this is the female figure, female figure studies. Uh, this is Abby Stockton, well posed and photographed. It has been outlined by the engraver, removing all distracting background, so it's just star floating. Conclusion. That's it. That is looking at this rare uh, book called physique photography for beginners and professionals by Hal Stevens. So mm -hmm. thought I would share. So I have another one I got too called Studies in Form by James E. Gravitz, which actually came today. So I found these two. I can't find them anywhere, but I found them, paid a not very much for them at all. So they're kind of exciting to add to my physique collection. Thanks for watching.